guys welcome to another episode of magic tuesday today's episode is very very special as you can see in studio i'm here with a a very beautiful lady a very <laughs> i'm saying that <laughs> but you are beautiful, beautiful. Oh, just look at that smile oh. <laughs> at least she's making me look more vibrant today as in uh, you know i'm i'm always a bit dull here yeah? no you're not so, yeah, you're, and with my with my black with my black t-shirt and everything being black on my desk because it's black magic uh, oh. you know <laughs> even mention her name i just want her to introduce herself and then i can tell you a little bit more about her when she's done uh, the floor is yours thank you fazia hi everyone thanks for having me my name is edith and i'm from the london office is that all you have for us <laughs> well i'm excited to be here today and i'm so happy to be doing this video with you i'm really looking forward to it I'm the one who's more excited than even you. It's such a pleasure and such an honor having you here in our Kenyan office. Edith is from our UK office, guys. Did you hear that English? Yeah, my name is Edith. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to do this, you know, because you're going to get me with love. Guys, I'm just excited and uh, her accent just... I, I would listen to her the whole day, like, um, just talk, 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 no, talk. But anyway, we don't know. have that much time for this show. No, we don't. So guys, yes, this is Edith from our UK office. She's here with me, and this episode is very special because of her. And definitely the product that we're going to talk about. So, um, without wasting much time on having this beautiful lady here. Guys, I want to give Edith a chance to actually tell us what we have on our desk today and what we're going to to be discussing about. So we're going to be discussing black magic today. And the first thing I'm going to be unpacking, mm -hmm. or is it unboxing? Unboxing, unboxing and packing, okay. yeah. <laughs> is the black magic video assist 4K monitor. So mm -hmm. what we have in here is the gold introduction pack. Yeah. And then the actual monitor itself, as you can see. We have the power cable here. Here as well. Mm. Just gonna put that aside. Yeah. And the second Black Magic item we're gonna be unboxing will be the Studio Camera 4K Plus. It actually comes in this box, but we've already taken it out, so this is it. And this is the power supply. This is the tally label. And this is the base plate. You wow. take it from here, Fazia. <laughs> Thank you so much for that introduction. Guys, yeah, you've already been taken through what we have on our desk today. We are going, I'm going to show you how um, to, con to configure your Blackmagic Studio Camera 4K Plus. We have another model for this unit, the 4K Pro. So I'll tell you the difference later on when I start showing you the physical connections of the unit. Uh, without starting this fast, I'll just get the power supply out of the box because she did not unbox this one for me, unfortunately. <laughs> Why didn't you unbox this for me? I just thought let you do. Oh. The, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to... My show is going to be dull when she's gone. I think I'll have to follow her or invite her virtually to be doing these shows with her. It's actually very interesting. So I'm um, also going to get these tally labels out of the box. And now no more boxes on the desk. Yes, guys. So before I say much, I'm just going to take you through the physical connections of this camera right here. So we have two USB type C ports right here. You can use for external storage on your hard disk. And then we have two 3.5 millimeter uh, jack ports here, one for the microphone and one for the headphones. On this other side of the camera, we have a HDMI output and also we have um, the power port where you connect your power cable right here, 12 volts. Now on this other side, I think I'll have to talk about it first before I can turn it to the camera. We have several knobs uh, for different functionalities. I'll also take you through when I 
power the camera on and uh, several buttons as well so here we have the knobs and then we have the buttons right here yeah and then we have the on off switch here this part right here is where our monitor is for the camera this is a hood it's detachable so you can detach it let me detach it first for you you can detach it like that and you can also use the camera with it attached as simple as that so if you want to use the camera with it attached you just raise the hood and make sure that it's nicely placed that easy and definitely the handles for holding the camera because now you can't just go placing your fingers on the camera anyhow Lee. yes and uh, i think that's it we also have um a tally light here you'll you will be able to see it if we have a black magic switcher connected to it so it lights up red or green depending on what source the camera is either on preview or program so before i leave this part of the tally light i just want to get fi finished with it Madam Edith had uh, mentioned we have the tally labels. So we have 20 of them. If you have these cameras, you can use these labels. You just slide the label there and then you have your camera labeled as camera one, camera two, until 20. And it becomes easy to identify which camera is on air. I'm going to put this one aside. Because this is the unit for today, I'm not going to talk much about the video assist, guys. Um, Mary has done a show on the how-to. Yes, Mary did a show on how-to with Lucas on how to configure the video assist. So if you want to watch more about the video assist monitor right here, you can go to our how-to playlist and watch how to configure the video assist. I'm, I'm going to connect everything and just power on the unit. I'll start with the camera. Yes, so I'll start with assembling the power supply there. Once it clicks, you know it's secured. Then I'm going to fix the lens. I have a Panasonic lens, MFT. So I'm not going to need any adapter because the lens and the camera uh, mount are the same. Let me just attach that before I can turn it to you guys. I'll just remove the lens cap so the lens is attached I'm also not going to attach the base plate but again I'll show you how it works so um, I can get rid of this this is what you attach on your camera at the bottom like this and then once you have this attached to your camera this other part you attach it to your shoe on the tripod and then all you have to do when you want to and mount your camera or mount it is just slide this uh, part on this and lock pretty simple right and also this base plate comes with provision for uh, the 15 millimeter rods if you have a v-mount battery and you want to have it uh, with your camera so you don't need to have much accessories you can just have the rods here and then have the the v-mount clamps with your battery I'll put this aside as well. Now I'm going to assemble the power supply for the video assist. Clicks. Just connect it to the 12 volts power port. And definitely to the, <laughs> to the extension so that we can connect everything. Now I have everything connected, but again, uh, there's one thing that is still missing. There is no connection from this camera to this uh, monitor so i'm going to use the hdmi cable from hdmi out here from the camera on the hdmi out and to the hdmi in okay on the monitor so our connection is complete guys there's also another model for this camera it's called the black magic 4k pro the difference between the two is the other one uses um has sdi ports while this one has hdmi so depending on your budget and also your kind of setup your workflow you can select which one uh, works for you now i'm going to power on my camera 
I'll remove the hood because it will be a bit difficult for you guys to see. I'll just close it and detach it. And have it on the side. So I'm going to power on my camera using this on off switch right here. And there we go. I don't even know what I'm capturing right now. Now this one is also not on, so I'm going to power the video assist. And there we go. <laughs> you can hold this for me. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you. So um, you're able to see that this is our feed right here. Now I'll take you through the configurations of the camera. Don't mind if, don't mind if I block the camera. But again, I had told you we have several knobs. It, they actually indicated the functionality. We have the bright, contrast, and the peaking. These ones regulate the brightness, contrast, and the focus peaking um, details on the, on the monitor. And then we have this knob right here. Sorry, I'm really struggling here because Mary needs to get that shot as well. We have this knob here that you can assign and then we have uh, the F1, F2, F3. These ones are functions. So inside the menu of this uh, camera, you're able to assign a shortcut to this F1, F2, F3. Could it be focus assist or zebra or anything you want to adjust quickly, you can just assign on this one so you don't have to go to the menu all the time. So if you want to um, go into your menu, there's this settings uh, indicator right here at the corner first of all before you go to that there are several things indicated on the screen uh, including the shutter speed your frame rates your iris depending on what lens you're using and also if you have any drives connected right now we don't have any drives connected so it's indicating no drive no drive exit it's very sensitive and then also we have um the audio level indicator right here and then the white balance and gain. So if you go into the menu, it's like any other black magic camera. We have the record settings. You can you can only you can record black magic raw using this camera. So um raw is a black magic format. The black magic raw is a black magic format which works so well uh when you want to have footage that you can actually um edit a lot of stuff, including the settings like white balancing as in if you want to have a lot of control for your footage you go and record draw and then we also have um, the monitor settings the monitor settings you're able to adjust settings for this monitor right here the lcd and also you're able to adjust what goes out via the hdmi if you want a uh, focus assist or anything to go out and then if you want to adjust both the hdmi and the the lcd you can use uh, this right here. And then now we have the audio settings. Depending on what microphone you have connected to your camera, you're able to set your audio right here. And uh, as well, there's camera microphone that I did not show you, the internal camera mics right here, the left and the right, yeah? So if you're using your camera internal microphones to record, you're able to select that from the audio settings or if you're using the external which is the 3.5 millimeter jack you're able to select from this menu and then we have the general setup here of um, the date and everything else and then presets if you have any the lats if you have any as well you want to there are those that come with the camera which is like um, the generation 5 film to recording 2020 hybrid yeah there's there's a lot of lats here so lats are lookup table that you use to reference uh if you want your color let's say you have a specific color that you want to match all your cameras and then you have this latch so you can use the ones that are currently here or you can ha you can upload some yeah that's it you can exit the menu by just tapping the same same place i don't think we have much uh here it's very easy to maneuver, by the way. It does not have much buttons, much, uh, a, a lot of things going around with it. So it's easy for you to use them. The application areas, you can use them in, in your studios. You can use them for live streaming. You can use them to even shoot your, your film because it has the raw format. Um, any kind of setup. We have also a tally indicator here for the operator. 
this indicator shows when you're recording as well so if you have your hard disk connected and you start recording it will actually illuminate red mm. yeah i talk a lot <laughs> wow i hope i made sense but again guys this is a camera that we are currently having here so if you need any of this camera or any of black magic products if you want the 4k pro with sd sdi ports you, uh, you can get it from our website that is www.highwayev.co.ke and also if you want to learn more about this camera if you want to test them if it will work for you if you have anything any more questions you can walk into our office our office is actually located in south bay trans towers upper ground floor office number one or give us a call our number is uh, plus two five four seven nine six twenty six twenty twenty eight and um since i've talked so much i'm just going to let madam edith here tell us um how was it it was brilliant it was yes I, in the past i've always watched um fazia do all the videos <laughs> and, and always clapping and applauding her at the smoothness and the way that she does the video so i'm glad to have been with you today <laughs> Wow. and um, been featured with you mm -hmm. in one of these videos so it's really good i oh, really enjoyed thank it you. I, I just hope i didn't lose anyone in that explanation right there you no. know it was huh? i thought it was very good it was, thank you. It was if easy she said to understand it was good, then i trust her yeah. <laughs> yes guys it's been so nice having you here and definitely so nice having you thank in you. my show yeah, thank i'm you. hoping that we can do this again and uh since covid is behind oh, us yes it's almost for everyone else but again i i'm sure you won't take much time before you come visit us again definitely not you probably see me more often <laughs> now <laughs> i'm looking forward to that any words you want to tell our well, viewers i will want, I want to say thank you for having me and you know where to go to to get all your black magic mm. items thank you. you did you even realize that she didn't even say one swahili word oh you're in Kenya, come on. Karibu. <laughs> <laughs> sawa, sawa, thank you. Sawa, well, sawa. Sawa. <laughs> sawa, sawa means okay. When you oh, say karibu, <laughs> when I you say, thank you. <laughs> when you say karibu means welcome. Okay, welcome. So when you say thank you is asante. Oh, asante. Do you know, I've been saying, okay, asante, asante. Yes, asante. Yeah, asante, yeah, asante. asante to our viewers, asante to you and... Uh, you're most welcome again. Next time, you, I, I hope you'll have more Swahili words. Oh, most so definitely. At least say one whole sentence in Swahili. Most definitely. Yeah, guys, that was it. Watch for, out. Yes, definitely. <laughs> and bring us that accent when you come back. Okay. So at then. least now we can speak like, you're, you're right. You understand what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yes, that was it for the Magic Tuesday show. I know it's been a while since we did a Black Magic video. But again, here we are and we're back so if you have any we also do training i forgot to mention that we do all kinds of training on black magic products so make sure you sign up with us and you can come to our office for further advice on any black magic solution until next time with another you know what that is exciting magic tuesday <laughs> bye, -bye. Black magic tuesday bye bye <laughs>